Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about some best practices and show some of the capabilities within conditional access that would help you roll out and then also monitor your policies. Now, the first thing that I want to show is going back to some of the policies that we had talked about before. How you would go and roll this out into your entire organization. Now, I'll say that I wanted to not just have the strong auth requirement targeted for one user. I want everyone to use this. Now, a recommendation would be to kind of phase this out in different steps. Usually, you could, you could control this through security groups, where you would have maybe a small group, 25 users, deploy that, make sure everything is behaving as expected, and then expand that out into your entire org. So I'll jump straight to saying, I've done that, everything's running wonderfully, then I'll come in and apply the policy to all users. Now, it could still be a good idea, particularly if you haven't tested the policy very much, to make sure that some users are excluded. So I'm just going in here to the Exclude tab and saying I'm going to continue to exclude my administrator account. And I'll save that, and then I'm done. Now this policy will apply to most users within my organization. Now if I wanted to check that, and I want to see the impact of this policy, there's another great tool that we have where you can go into the what if tool at the top of the, the toolbar here, and clicking in there, you can enter some of these conditions in and see what the impact would be. I'm wondering, I just want to double check to make sure that this policy is going to apply to Audrey. So I'll select her account, come back, and I could scope this down further, but for this it's, it's going to be enough just to scope it to her and say what if. This immediately goes out and will tell me that this policy I had just configured is going to apply to her. Now, these sorts of practices in terms of how to roll out a policy, we also have called out in the deployment guide, and we'll be sure to link um, that below so you can go in and get that deeper information. Okay, now after you've deployed a policy, you want to make sure you can monitor it. And the best way to do that is using the Azure AD sign-in reports. So I can navigate down there under the monitoring section, and go to sign-ins. Now this shows a row for every sign-in to Azure Active Directory. I can filter down to particularly interesting logins for conditional access. I'm going to say failure. This will be cases where conditional access policy blocked the sign-in. And then when this, these come up, I can click into them and get more detail. In this case, I can see that Frank was interrupted by an MFA prompt, and he wasn't able to satisfy it for some reason. I can further click into the conditional access tab and see what other policies applied. Both the MFA policy and the require compliant device policy were enforced in this case. So that's really useful to see what impact these policies are having for your users. Now, another thing that you can do, and I'll come back and, and reset this, this filter, is go and understand what sort of apps are being used in your organization. This is particularly critical for older apps using legacy protocols that often aren't protected. So I'm going to drill in, and I'm going to see that what other clients have been used. Now, Audrey has used legacy authentication, and I've seen that that sign-on has succeeded. Now, fortunately, I've applied a conditional access policy that requires multi-factor authentication across browser, modern authentication, and other clients. So I know in the future that this application won't be able to work, which is, you know, something that you might want to reach out to your end users and kind of understand that app and help them migrate over to another alternative. But from a security perspective, it's really critical because on these older protocols, if they're unprotected and only use username and password, they're really a favorite, favorite target for any attackers that are coming in, and, and we've seen this. From our numbers, we believe it's close to 67% reduction in compromised user accounts when you've blocked these legacy authentication protocols by applying policy to the other clients in your, in your organization. Now, another thing that you can do with this AAD sign-in report is it's really great for troubleshooting. And I'm going to show that by first showing that sign-in experience that Frank would have, and then what he might experience if he was blocked trying to access Office 365. So now I'm signed in as Frank, and I've signed into the Office portal where I can launch into Office 365 apps 
So far, I've only signed in using my username and password. So now when I come across Outlook and click on that, I have that policy applied requiring multi-factor authentication and a trusted device. First, it triggers that I have to provide multi-factor authentication, which I will satisfy using the Azure Authenticator app. So that's an easy press of a button in order to get in. Now, the next challenge that comes up is that I have to have a compliant device. In this case, I don't have a compliant device, and maybe an end user would call in and, and ask why this is needed or what's happening, and help desk could get in more details. Now, the typical flow here would be to then request that they go in, get more details, if you wanted to investigate this particular flow, and you could pull the correlation ID out. With this correlation ID, you can go back to the report. So then back in the report, you can use that to filter to the specific sign-in log. Now, you don't see that as a filter option. So a good thing to know is that if you click on columns, you can get more filter options here. And I say I want to use correlation ID. So I'll click there and apply, and that'll filter down to that specific row so that I can see what happened to Frank and why his authentication was blocked. All right, so this really illustrates some of the, the tools that you can use to both deploy and then monitor the health of conditional access policies. The other great thing about the sign-in reports is that instead of just going through manually and looking at all this row by row, there's rich log analytics integration where you can build up dashboards and build overviews and really get a sense for what's happening. Now, I hope this, these videos have been helpful in showing what conditional access policy is, how you would configure the policies, and then also how you would manage them. Thank you for your time.